Hey, this is Crystal Asige, and you are watching Up Close with Buzz. So I am a singer-songwriter, I am a YouTuber, public speaker, a disability rights champion, just a general creative here in the Kenyan music industry. I absolutely did not expect um, to be crowned Female Video of the Year by Pulse Music Video Awards. Um, I mean, the category was heavy. There was some bona fide queens in the category. And of course, I was sort of like the newbie on the block, so it was not expected at all. Um, when I was, when it was announced, I was as shocked as anybody else would have been. But I'm super grateful and um, I just feel like it will help with visibility. It will also just help um, the team that I work with right now, um, because I'm independent, just to encourage and sort of like motivate us and push us forward because, hey, I mean, Four releases in less than 12 months, two nominations, and then this is the first win. So we're going in the right direction. What inspired Lenga is my life, um, a story or a narrative by which people tell you what you can and cannot do. People tell you um, where you should and should not go, what you should or should not say. You know, these kinds of things that people sort of project them themselves and their ideas on you as a person. Um, because I'm a woman and a young woman with a disability, it layers three times over for me. Um, I think that uh, independence, that freedom, the agency to sort of like have your own uh, ideas and be able to share them freely, I think is what definitely is at the core of Lenga. Um, so by faith and not by sight is, first of all, my life verse in the Bible. Um, and it became my brand ID over the years that I've been struggling with my eye condition. Um, for me, it's something that uh, motivates me every single morning when I wake up to just keep pushing and keep walking by faith, not by sight. But also as a brand ID, I think people can also just sort of like grab something from there. They can be inspired and say, you know what, it's true. We should sort of like aim and, and move forward and keep pushing by faith, not by the things that you see right now in reality, but by what you're seeing with your vision, because there's a difference between your eyesight and your vision. Sight is a vision of the, I mean, sight is a function of the eyes, but vision is a function of like your mind, you know? So I didn't cope very well when I first got the news, uh, when I was diagnosed officially by um, my doctors. I did not cope very well. In fact, I spiraled into a deep depression. I spiraled into hanging out with the wrong people, doing the wrong things, um, uh, substance abuse, things like that, because I didn't know how to cope. I mean, if you can imagine someone telling you in a few years' time you're going to lose this part of your body or this part of your ability, so just get ready. It's inevitable. I mean, that's something that you can't really imagine, sort of, you know, getting your head around. So. Um, I didn't cope very well, but because of my faith um, and because I have been able to hold on to, you know, mantras like by faith, not by sight, um, mantras like be still and know that I am God, um, I have been able to sort of like get myself out of that place. Supportive family as well, um, people who believe in me, who've always seen potential in me, who've been sticking around for the longest time. I've got a very small nucleus of, of um, really like hardcore supporters including my family and friends and they've been able to you know help me along the way as well people don't really know this but i sleep with my phone um right next to my bed my bed right and the first app that is open is my voice notes because of the times when i'm dreaming when i'm sleeping that is when a melody comes to my mind um and so i just like to be able to just to open my eyes, you know, roll over, you record, rah, 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 and then go back to sleep. So on my phone, there's many voice notes, which is just me in a sleepy voice <laughs> trying to record some sort of a melody I thought of. And actually, Lenga, um, the pre-chorus, that's where it started. To prepare for a show, I usually have to have a lot of meetings with um, the promoters or the venue um, owners, managers, whoever it is that um, I need to be speaking to about the physical aspect of performing. So. 
you know, where will the stage be? How high will it be? Will I need to climb upstairs? Is there a rail up to help me climb the stairs? Um, can they give me, you know, as much assistance as they can physically to understand the stage? So that when I'm on stage, I'm sort of like have a picture or a map of it in my mind and I can know, okay, in front of me there are four monitors. Over here, there are these lights over here, the, you know, this camera. And then behind me, the back line looks like drums, bass, uh, lead and then keys or whatever it is, whatever the stage manage, uh, the floor management looks like, you know, uh, the design of, of the actual physical space. And then from there, I'm able to go home in my own spare time with my team and then start to now, you know, um, design the, the actual performance. I told, I'm from Mombasa, these hips. Is the hips a chakacha? Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, but I'm from Mombasa, so I mean, dancing is a thing out there. I don't know about other counties, but 001. Hey, we know how to dance and we enjoy it. And so since I was a kid, I mean, I've been in theater, film, um, music, performing in all types of areas, yeah? So I've always been enjoying, I've always enjoyed dancing as part of my uh, performance in general. I like eating like uh, things which are very like messy. These messy, messy foods. I don't like these cute like I I like like biryani where you you know get in there with your fingers and your mum, 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 like that. I guess like, like I said because I'm from Mombasa, it's been that's been my culture. That's how I've grown up. Um, so curries, biryanis, you know chapati, maharagwe, you know things like that. Um, I really enjoy. I think my biggest fear is giving up too early. I think that's one thing that people, when they see my journey and they ask, like, how did you get here? How do you, you know, move past all these barriers? How did you get to meet all these artists and do all these things independently? And it's usually because there is no formula or genius behind it. It's just about not stopping. I think that city will usually give up just before they're about to break through some sort of a barrier. And so I tell people, you just keep going. If there's something that you love to do and that you want to achieve, whatever area in life it is, then just literally keep one foot in front of the other. I believe that being a woman is magical. I believe that it is mysterious. I believe that it's sexy. I believe that it's cheeky. It's playful. It's all of these beautiful things all like put into one. And I feel as though women, we need to, the theme is choose to challenge this year. So I think women need to, choo need to choose to challenge their own mindset. Um, once you realize how strong you are, how powerful you are as a woman, how um, deeply sort of empowering it is to be submissive, as you know, people were always being told to do, um, that's where the magic is and that's that's where our absolute strength lies in understanding how powerful we are even if we are seem to be like at the bottom. Mm -hmm.